Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to take a look at a run and gun game in the vein of Contra and Midnight Resistance and other such games. Uh, this is called uh, Gun Force and it is created by Irem in 1991. This, uh, this game's full name, I guess, is Gun Force Battle Fire engulfed terror island so yeah we're just going to call it gun force <laughs> but this was suggested by youtube user joey ford and like i said this is a run run and gun game like contra um it's all right um something that kind of annoys me is this game really could use a life bar for your character um a bullet even Brushing them kills them automatically. You can play two player simultaneous play. There are some decent enough weapons. Nothing to really knock your socks off, though. Like I said, uh, a single bullet will automatically kill you. <laughs> and um, you can ride vehicles sometimes. This is not a bad game, it's just. Uh, there were better uh, running gun games before and after, especially with like the Metal Slug series and Shock Troopers. But uh, there are a number of foot uh, enemies, you know, enemies on foot, that you can fortunately touch and not die. You at least have that in your corner. Let's see you drop out of the plane into enemy territory. There are uh, six stages in this game. You start out with a, just a regular uh, one shot at a time gun and then you can pick up a auto fire gun like this, a rapid fire gun. But yeah, like I said, uh, one shot will automatically kill you, so uh, inch forward <laughs> carefully. Those guys, those uh, foot soldiers, they will not kill you upon touching you. Later enemies will uh, blow up when they touch you, which sucks. But yeah, one bullet will automatically kill you, so be very careful. Thanks. <laughs> you can jump up in the air and uh, fire downwards while you're in the air. And there will be various things you can use, like, uh, like that machine gun you can take control of. You press, uh, I think, fire button right when you're right on top of it. And you'll be able to man it. Ah, crap. Well, they shot me while I was uh, in that uh, anti-aircraft gun there. Many vehicles that you're in, if you're, uh, if you're covered, you can ride uh, without... You know, without fear of being shot once and dying. But if you're, like, kind of out in the open like you were with that uh, uh, jeep, I believe, they can still kill you with one shot. Very frustrating. There are, uh, there are other weapon power-ups, like a flamethrower. Uh, there's a laser, like, I think, which I have right now, which is stronger. Almost looked like I should have been killed by those uh, rotary blades. And then there's this here, which is, I guess, like a... Maybe not a bazooka. Whoops. <laughs> Your guy sure uh, sure lets out a uh, painful scream. Well, here is the first boss. And yeah, you have to really be careful. Uh, this, this is sort of uh, reminiscent of a, a boss in uh, Contra. I can't remember which level. But uh, you have to kind of inch forward and, and shoot at an angle to take out this uh, central cannon. And once you destroy it, I don't think you have to destroy the other uh, cannon. Oops, I'm out of the... Uh, uh, the weapon power-up. Well, that 
Maybe it's not as, uh, maybe the collision detection isn't as touchy as I thought it was. There we go. But yeah, there are a total of six stages. I think I played through, like, two of them and got to the third with, uh, with one continue being used. And then I'll just show you snippets of the rest of the game. I'd never heard of this in arcades. Now we have uh, enemies that will take uh, more than one shot to bring down. See, they get up. And you can't really differentiate those from some of the enemies that just take one shot. <laughs> but you will see these crates on occasion. Whoa, watch out. <laughs> and the crates may have uh, power-ups. They often do, actually. But note that as you're running, you can shoot uh, downwards, or at an angle downwards. But again, those... Watch out for those uh, big cannons that shoot multiple shots. Even one of them touching you, you're, you're automatically dead. I don't have any more lives left. You can uh, get extra lives, I think, at uh, some point total. I don't remember which one, or which ones. There's uh, extra bullets you can get. I think they give you a hundred extra bullets. And then there's, wah, crap, there's the flamethrower guy that killed me. <laughs> I love the, the scream your guy makes. You get like a, a brief second of invincibility on your next life. But yeah, you get to continue, and you keep your score when you continue, which is nice. And there's that uh, cannon there, or, or the uh, uh, rifle that you can, uh, or machine gun that you can uh, employ, I believe by pressing shoot right when you're standing on top of it. There's a little lift here that you can take. Yikes. <laughs> ah, I fell off. I could have shot all those boxes and probably got some nice power-ups out of them. <laughs> I think that was an extra life. Woohoo! And now I've got another uh, vehicle I can commandeer. But yeah, if you're out in the open like that where you can get shot, you will... you can die. Oh, I was protected by the, uh, or from the, uh, flamethrower for some reason. Note that you have, uh, limited range with your flamethrower. In order to get enemies that are higher up, you'll have to jump while using the flamethrower. And here is the second boss. And this guy is tough. This game, in general, is, is fairly tough. Uh, mostly because you, you only have one life and the enemies can shoot at you a lot. And that really sucks. The enemies will shoot grenades, and their uh, the explosion from the grenades will linger for a little bit. And so if you land on the explosion, even after you think it should have dissipated, you'll die. But the main goal is to just shoot that center cannon there. Those guys in the windows will keep showing up. I mean, even after you destroy them. I have smashed the enemy supply depot. I will head for the communication tower. We're on to the uh, third level. I hope you enjoy your weekend. Uh, <laughs> I just love that. Ah! <laughs> you and the enemies scream when they die. <laughs> um, hope you uh, get everything done that you wanted to do this weekend, or or if you didn't want to do anything at all, that you didn't do anything at all. Now we have these guys in the air on jetpacks. Um, I'm not sure what that noise was, but uh, I think there might be a noise that goes off when you run low on time. Maybe that's what it was. And now uh, you have this lift that you can take to higher sections of this uh, of this uh, canyon or whatever this is, side of a mountain or something. 
Yikes, don't shoot me. <laughs> there we go. Right, take another lift. At some point, I put on uh, invincibility. It, it probably wasn't here yet. Nope. Those are the exploding guys. When they touch you, they blow up and you die. Other than that, pretty much all the foot soldier guys can just walk right through you without hurting you. But I made the high score by a pretty good margin. It does help that you can take your uh, high score with you from continue to continue. That is Gun Force also known as Gun Force Battle Fire Engulfed Terror Island. So again, we're just going to call it Gun Force. <laughs> Created by Iram in 1991. Yeah, we'll, we'll scoot forward. Uh, here's another lift that that uh, moves uh, horizontally. And you jump down here. And you take that lift across. Or actually, no, uh... I guess that was an alternate route. We uh, climb up here and go up this way. Uh, now I put on the invincibility. Just because I wanted to get through the game quicker. I had never seen nor heard of this in arcades. And now here's the next boss. And since I have invincibility, I'm just going to ignore all these bastards that are going to try to run up and kill me. I'm just gonna shoot these cannons and destroy them. That is the uh, third boss. I've wiped out the enemy communication tower. I will head for the enemy command base. This game's okay. Ooh, now we got a nice big tank with a ginormous blast radius. Holy crap. <laughs> you don't have to be in the tank. You can get out and travel on foot, but your god, it has such power. We're going to scoot forward. This level is actually very short. See, we're at the boss already. And, uh... We're just going to quickly take out this, this boss. I will eventually have to hop out of this tank because it's going to blow up. See, it's taking some pretty heavy damage. And there, that's the end of that boss. Two more uh, missions to go. Yeah, I'd never heard of this. This was suggested by YouTube user Joey Ford. And, uh, heading closer to my 1,000th video milestone. We're doing something special that might not be for everyone, but just something I thought might be kind of fun. Well, you'll find out more about it when I get closer to the, the goal. You got another uh, anti-aircraft gun, and then a little bit later you jump on this. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Some sort of uh, air vehicle. <laughs> yeah. I have invincibility on, and you guys don't. Sucks to be you. <laughs> There's the flamethrower. Yeah, the flamethrower, uh, the, the amount of ammo for it just starts to dwindle as you hold down the button. Yeah, this, this is okay. It's not great. Here, yeah, you have to push down and jump to drop down to that lower part. Yeah, I guess... I guess maybe that thing I was writing was like a hydrofoil or something, or a... And it, it's kind of hard to tell. I think there was supposed to be like ocean or something that I was on, but it wasn't wasn't uh, rendered very well. Maybe uh, MAME doesn't work so well with this game. 
And then there's this giant robot I have to take down parts of it. It drops down and I have to take up the take out the upper part. Let's just get this over with, shall we? Now we're about to go to the last mission. Not surprisingly, the last mission is the biggest. It takes the longest to get to the boss. Now we infiltrate the underground base. When you start out above ground, you'll eventually get underground. There's the laser again. Yeah, the laser is much stronger than the regular shots. Well, the, the I think most of the other weapons are not nearly as strong and eventually you'll take the uh, elevator down to the underground base there will be enemies on the floors shooting at you these spider like things that robots that run around on the ground and then you have to shoot these uh, these missiles that will pop out of the walls or these uh, cannons that will pop out of the walls and here's another uh, vehicle you can command here <laughs> Makes me think of the alien's uh, loader or whatever that was called in the movie uh, Aliens. And now here is the final boss of the game. Yeah, we skipped parts of this, this level. It was actually really big. And these guys pop out of these cases. But the main goal is to uh, destroy the uh, destroy the uh, wall here to your right and then you can uh, hop in and uh, take a shot directly above at that alien uh, casing or whatever that is I'm, I should have been dead a hundred times over I'm sure but thank god for invincibility <laughs> And now we've beaten Gunforce, or Gunforce Battle Fire Engulfed Terror Island. <laughs> so we are just going to call it Gunforce. Not terrible by any means, but yeah, it's not having a life bar really sucks in this game. <laughs> so many enemies shooting at you, so many bullets. Yeah, that was supposed to be like a hydrofoil or something. They, they didn't show uh, the ocean earlier or water of any sort that you were on. So it uh, might not be working right in Maine. But at any rate, that is Gun Force by Iram in 1991. Never seen or heard of that game before Maine came along. And uh, now I will put in my initials. Wow, over 2 million points. You can score some decent points in this game for a running gun game. That is Gun Force, also known as Gun Force Battle Fire Engulfed Terror Island by Iram in 1991. And go with the uh, Metal Slug series. Those are more fun. Or the uh, Shock Troopers games. Well, that was Gun Force by Iram in 1991 suggested by YouTube user Joey Ford <laughs> Joey Ford well this is Crazy Climber Radio saying thanks for watching Gun Force also known as Gun Force Battle Engulfed uh, Battle Fire Engulfed Terror Island by Iram in 1991 catch you later with another video folks have a good one bye bye